Once again, we present to you the impressive Stetoda Pekaliana, known as the False Black Widow, which continues to reveal surprising abilities and new discoveries in each video. We have observed how its hunting skills against flying prey are truly infallible, even dispensing with the need for a pre-made web. But what would happen if our majestic Stetoda, with its appearance emanating an aura of mystery and power, faced a formidable challenge an army of flies? These spiders, as we know, depend on insects for food, showing a clear preference for flying ones. But how many flies would they be willing to hunt? This challenge could reveal their potential as allies against insect pests. We decided to conduct the experiment with Lucilia sericata flies, commonly known as stable flies or simply green flies. But among them all, a sarcophaga bullata, also known as the flesh fly due to its preference for laying its eggs in meat remains, slipped in. In contrast to the Lucilia sericata, this striped white fly prefers decomposing organic matter instead of stable waste. Both species typically have a relatively short adult life, making the most of each day to find food and reproduce efficiently. We see how the Pekaliana shows increasing signs of discomfort in the face of the fly infestation, her patience on the brink of exhaustion. We even witness one of the stable flies attempting to grasp the leg of the Stetoda, a challenge that pushes her already thin patience to the limit. And finally, the inevitable happens. The spider decides to catch the first fly, with astounding ease. First, she wraps it with her sticky, ultra-strong spider silk, then she stretches it and anchors it to the ground, ensuring the fly cannot escape. We can appreciate the considerable size of these flies compared to the typical housefly that usually visits our homes. As an additional note, it is important to mention that these flies tend to be more persistent than others, appearing heavier as they repeatedly land without any fear. But this poses no problem for our false black widow. Faced with the insolence of the fly, the spider sees a unique opportunity to capture two prey at once and doesn't hesitate to seize it. With precise and quick movements, she achieves a double victory. On the other hand, the flesh fly shows a sudden interest in the trapped flies, leaving us wondering if it might be trying to feed on the threads of the spider web. Or perhaps it's trying to free them. What is clear is that it keeps bothering the Stetoda, as if the fly feels uneasy with the spider's presence. The fly displays surprising temperament, and agility. The fly manages to bother the spider enough to drive her away, but not for long. She remembers that she has two prey under control and returns to capture a third. Interestingly, the Stetoda Pekaliana demonstrates a remarkable ability by using twigs and sticks to reinforce and fit into her intricate web of threads, thereby improving the stability and effectiveness of her capture structure. This technique not only strengthens the web, but also can deter potential predators by creating a more robust and difficult to penetrate appearance, significantly increasing the chances of successfully capturing prey.
What we all wonder is how much silk these spiders can accumulate in their abdomen, given that we see them spinning it endlessly. These spiders have the ability to store significant amounts of silk in their glands, which is essential for weaving and maintaining their webs. However, the exact amount they can store varies depending on the activity and individual needs of each spider. An interesting curiosity about the stable fly is its green coloration, which not only provides camouflage in certain environments but also may serve as a visual signal for communication within the species or to deter potential predators. Despite the impressive skills the spider shows in capturing all the flies that come near, the sarcophaga refuses to be caught, persistently bothering the stetoda. The spider will defend her precious cache of packaged flies, despite the persistent attempts of the mischievous flesh fly to bother her. In the world of Stetoda spiders, the distinction between males and females becomes evident females are notable for their larger size and robustness, with less pronounced pedipalps, while males exhibit larger and more noticeable pedipalps, standing out for their elegance and subtle yet significant anatomical differences. The sarcophaga fly possesses a remarkable ability to detect decomposition odors, from long distances, allowing her to effectively locate potential food sources in her environment. This advanced sensory capability, along with her compound eyes that provide excellent perception of rapid movements and light changes, contributes to her colonization. And then, a fourth fly rushes within the spider's reach, which she promptly wraps along with the rest of its companions. The sarcophaga fly seems to try to free her, but flees before being caught as well. All the green flies have been successfully captured in just a short while. Imagine how many prey these spiders could catch in an entire day under their web. Once securely tied, the spider will inject her venom into each fly, which is composed of enzymes that break down the tissues of her food to facilitate external digestion. Definitely, our Stetoda did not successfully capture the last elusive fly. However, this won't be a problem, as she has plenty of food to produce her next egg sacs. We conclude the encounter and leave the spider to feed in peace. If you liked this video, Please give it a like and subscribe to continue watching this content.